Do you have a DJI gimbal and you're losing precious footage but you don't know why? Come along with me and I'll show you how to use the gimbal and also possibly retrieve some of that old footage. Let's go. Hey guys, Musa here from Quantum Home Improvements and Solutions. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to talk about DJI gimbals. And for you who do not know, a gimbal is what's used to support your phone video to make a good quality picture. And not only does it improve the picture quality, but also it takes away a lot of the bumps when you're walking and has a lot of other features to it that makes a nice, smooth picture, easy to watch on social media. And it has other functions as well. So you can turn the camera with a lever, you can actually turn it from a landscape to portrait. You can press on and off for your recording. You can zoom in and there's a whole heap of other features. And this particular one, the OM5, has a telescopic arm that brings out the camera further. So I bought my first gimbal back about two years ago, which was the DJI MIMO OM4. And December last year, my phone upgraded. And unfortunately, the app was no longer supported on my phone and I couldn't use it. So I went back to the place where I purchased it and they couldn't understand what the problem was. And so the person that I was dealing with suggested I buy another gimbal and, and I did, I bought the OM5. But then I found out later that it wasn't the phone or the gimbal, but in fact it was the Google Play Store no longer supported the app. And so when I got home, I tried it and it didn't work, which was a bit of a frustration. And so I followed the instructions, used the QR code and downloaded the app directly into my phone from the DJI site. And now it works fine. But I've also discovered other problems. So I was losing a lot of videos and I didn't understand why. And it was driving me mad. You would spend hours making a video and you couldn't refilm it and you've lost the footage. How can that be? And it would drive me nuts. So there's some videos I haven't released because I haven't got proper footages for them. So I use the Samsung Galaxy S21 and that was recommended to me by the company where I bought the gimbal. And I thought that they should know what they're talking about. But unfortunately it turns out that a lot of people don't know how to use these gimbals and they don't understand the fundamental principle that it's actually made to service a lot of different phones. And while I was downloading the app, I found some other information on the DJI website and they have a list for the OM4 and the OM5, which phones are the most compatible for that gimbal. And so the one that's most compatible for the DJI is in fact the iPhone. Now I'm more of a Samsung guy, but if I had my time again, I probably would have bought the Apple because I do want to make better quality videos. And the Apple store also still supports the app. Okay, so the most important thing to talk about now is why am I losing footage using this DJI gimbal and app? Well, it's pretty easy and it took me a while to work it out and there's nothing on the internet to tell you exactly what the problem is, but it is pretty straightforward. There's two reasons. The first one, if you let your gimbal battery die, there's a good chance you'll lose that footage. So, but there is a chance of retrieving it. Now, what you can do, if you've got an Apple phone, you can actually retrieve it straight off the Apple app. And so, there is a cache in the DJI app that will store that information, and you should be able to retrieve it back from there. So if you don't have an iPhone, you're gonna to have to find another software that reco can recover that information. And I've done that, but I've not been totally successful, and the video is a bit corrupt, and with mine, I didn't get any sound, but at least I was able to save some of the footage. The second reason, if you finish videoing and you turn your gimbal off, you will lose your footage. Again, you'll have to go through that same process. So what you've got to do is first stop the actual record button. Wait. Wait until they talk to each other, until that information is transferred into your phone. Now sometimes you won't be able to find that information. So what you've got to do is then go into your app and then just press video and you'll find it there. But it takes sometimes like five minutes to actually talk to each other, depending on how long that footage is. And so I've lost a lot of footage because I've panicked and I've gone and turned my gimbal off and then cut that connection off. Okay, so I've had this video running for around 25 and a half minutes. I'll now press stop and I'll look for the video just down the bottom in the play button and it's not there. 
You can see it's not there, but it will be in a minute. So just wait for it to configure and it will pop up. So now if I push under videos, it will pop up in a second. This does take time and this is where you can't panic. Just wait and it will appear. Sometimes if you go back out and come back in and there it is, right there on the left. So I went out of the screen, came back in. So you can do it either way. So usually I find it when I look under videos. So that took roughly about half a minute to pop up and there it is right there, 25.58 minutes. So now if you have lost your video and you want to find your video another way through the cache, so just go to the app, hold it, go to the top corner where the information is, go into storage and you'll see the cache there. So the cache will be where you can retrieve your videos, especially with the iPhone, but hopefully with your other devices. I hope this information helps you to overcome some of these difficulties you might be having with your DJI gimbal. And I will put some links below in the description to help you further. And if you have any comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you. And I'll also ask if you please consider to subscribe, hit the like button and share this video. And there's many more videos to come and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.